Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Sephron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So, as you know, Thursday means it's Tier 1 Thursday, where we look at a deck that's kind of known, kind of near the top of the format. And this week, when I was trying to figure out our Tier Deck Tech, I realized we haven't talked Legacy in quite a while, and there's a new deck in Legacy that's kind of shot up towards the top of the format. So, Reanimator is a thing in Legacy. It's been around for a while, but there's a relatively new build of Reanimator, Red Black Reanimator, which is pretty sweet. This is like an extremely all-in build of Reanimator. Every single card is dedicated to one specific purpose, and that's getting a huge threat on the battlefield on turn one. So this build is from SWPC on Magic Online, recently took it to an undefeated finish in a Legacy League, so congrats to SWPC on their finish with the deck. A quick reminder before we break it all down, if you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made into videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So the idea of Red Black Reanimator is to get one of three creatures on the battlefield on turn one. Actually, the primary goal is to get a Grizzlebrand on the battlefield on turn one. If you get a Grizzlebrand on the battlefield on turn one, there's a decent chance that using the card draw, you could actually get another threat on the battlefield as well. So Grizzlebrand is just so good. It draws you cards, it has lifelink, it's a huge flyer. The backup reanimation target is Sire of Insanity. So if you don't have Grizzlebrand, Sire of Insanity is pretty sweet because if you get this on turn one, it makes each player discard their hand, which means your opponent is going to have a really hard time interacting with your Sire of Insanity. They potentially haven't even made a land drop, or if they're on a play, they played one land, and then all of a sudden they're empty-handed, but you got a 6-4, so you just beat down for three or four turns, and the game ends. Tide Spout Tyrant is more of a late-game reanimation play, but it's still pretty good. You can get it on the battlefield, and then you cast some random spells, and bounce your opponent's stuff all back to their hand, so it kind of works like a one-sided upheaval. So the next step to this is getting one of those creatures in your graveyard. And the deck has two different ways. Entomb is the easiest. One mana instant, you just tutor a card from your library, put it in your graveyard. So one mana, Grizzlebrand's in your graveyard. Faithful Saluting lets you get a Grizzlebrand or a Sire from your hand into the graveyard, because you draw two, then discard two. So if you have one of the, your big threats in your opening hand, you just pay a red mana, and automatically you can make sure you have your threat in the graveyard. So this stuff is all pretty typical reanimator stuff. Then you have the reanimation spells itself. Again, these are pretty common. Reanimate, one mana, you lose a bunch of life, you get your creature back. Animate dead, two mana, you get it back. Gets a negative one, negative zero, whatever. Exhume, Technically symmetrical, if your opponent somehow gets a creature in the graveyard, they can get it back, but it's likely going to benefit you more. So you have a total of 12 reanimation targets, 8 ways to stock your graveyard, 6 big threats, but then what makes this deck unique is the turn 1 aspect of it. A lot of reanimation decks in Legacy are kind of blue-black-ish, maybe blue-black-red, but you looking to use Force of Wills and counters to protect their combo, instead of going on this slower, more controlling plan, even though they're still trying to go quickly, they're more control decks, this is like the combo all-in build. So what the deck is really trying to set up is to do all of this on turn one, and it has a bunch of ways to do it. So picture this, turn one, you play your land, you dark ritual, you cast an entomb, get your grizzle brand, and then you cast any of your 12 reanimation spells, you got a grizzle brand. Pretty simple. You can even do it with Lotus Petals or Chrome Mox, and it's a little more challenging, but Land, Lotus Petal, Chrome Mox lets you do the same thing. It's really simple. Lotus Petal, Land, Entomb, Reanimate lets you do the same thing. There's a lot of combinations of fast mana that will get you to a turn one Grizzle Brand, and then the sweet thing is with Grizzle Brand, you draw a bunch of cards, you're probably going to draw into more Lotus Petals, more Dark Rituals, maybe more Entombs, and then you can do it again. So you get your Grizzle Brand, draw seven, that will likely get you enough gas to be able to reanimate a Sire of Insanity as well, and then you got a Grizzlebrand and a Sire of Insanity, and your opponent has no hand. It's almost impossible that you can lose from that position. The last key piece to this puzzle is protecting yourself. So, Force of Will is a huge deal in Legacy, and 
one thing that kind of separates this deck from other all-in combo decks is it actually has a massive number of turn one answers to Force of Will. So we played like Oops All Spells, and that deck wins on turn one super consistently, but if your opponent has a Force of Will, you just lose. Same with Belcher. You win on turn one a lot, but if your opponent has a Force of Will, you just lose. When 70% of decks or something are playing Force of Will, that's going to happen a lot. Well, this deck has a ton of ways of protection. Chancellor of the Annex can be a backup reanimation target. It is a 5-6 flyer, but the real purpose of Chancellor is to have it in your opening hand. You reveal it. Whenever your opponent casts their first spell, you counter it unless they pay one. Since you are comboing off on turn one, that means that your opponent won't have the mana to force of will you. They will get force spiked by Chancellor of the Annex. You don't have to worry about force of will. You get your Grizzlebrand, your Sire, clean out their hand. Everything's good to go. Thoughtseize costs you mana, but it still gets the job done. So you play your Dark Ritual, you Thoughtseize first, get rid of your opponent's force of will if they have one. Then you can entomb, reanimate, get your Grizzlebrand, go to town. And Unmask is like a free Thoughtseize. You just have to exile a black card from your hand. It's like a force of will Thoughtseize, essentially. So if you have this in your hand, you don't don't even need that extra mana which means uh, land dark ritual gets you three mana you can still entomb and like animate dead for two mana and unmask with the thought seize it's just so powerful in this deck because it's a free thought seize that makes sure you aren't getting get got by force of will so you have a ton of ways to protect yourself and that's the thing that's most exciting to me about this deck is as you look through it Every single card is so dedicated to the purpose. It's all four ofs. It's just, it's a thing of beauty. I really love this deck. As far as the mana base, we get a bunch of fetch lands. We get some dual lands, a couple of swamps, not many lands in the deck at all. In the sideboard, we get a bunch of customization for our reanimation targets. Against one color decks, Iona is pretty much game over. Your opponent just can't cast spells uh, because you get to choose a color. Your opponent can cast them. So in certain matchups, it's very good. Inkwell fights three removal by having Shroud. It's also trampling and massive and island walking. Elish Norn deals with decks that can go wide, like Elves, that can really put a lot of stuff on the battlefield on turn one. It's kind of your comeback card. And then Grave Titan makes a bunch of bodies, also good for fighting through removal. And then we have Reverend Silence, which allows you to destroy an enchantment for free. So if your opponent has a Rest in Peace, for an example, shutting down your graveyard, this is a free way you can do it. On turn one, destroy it, and continue to combo off. Collective Brutality gives you duress, some removal, some life gain, kind of all in one. Uh, just bringing a removal spell wouldn't be great because eh, there's a lot of situations where that's not good, but when you can discard a reanimation target and duress your opponent and kill a Delver on turn one, that's an insanely powerful card. And then Abrupt Decay gets rid of pretty much anything in Legacy. There's a few things it doesn't hit, but most things in Legacy for only two mana and it can't be countered. Anyway, that is Red Black Reanimator for Legacy, and that's been our instant deck tech for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon.